What's up guys, it's Jam here. And in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make my style of editing, like GD, Loco, and the process that I take in uploading a video. So, yeah. I normally don't do this long form content, but since a lot of you have been asking me, I'm gonna give you guys step-by-step step on how to make your YouTube channel and your editing a lot better. And yeah, now I'd say the first part of me making my YouTube shorts is finding ideas from big name channels like GD Highlights, Local President, um, NBA Inspires, and even Ballers Impact, even though he's a small channel, I'd say he has the potential to become a big YouTuber. Now I'd say copying the YouTubers um, ideas aren't really the best idea, but if you're like a small channel, I suggest maybe doing it a little bit just to show that you can edit a little bit. Now, if your channel has like over 5,000 subscribers from making these shorts videos, I'd say making the ideas from other YouTubers are more noticeable because, you know, they watch the same content like you make. So I'd say take inspiration, but not ideas. So you can make your own original ideas, but not copying another big YouTuber just for the views. It's like you're making this for fun or for the money. I'm not sure your intentions on making a YouTube channel, but if it works, it works. Now for the second part of this little video, I'm gonna talk about the editing portion of it. Now, I suggest getting All right, it seems like YouTube does not condone getting a YouTube video downloader. So me personally, I do not use a YouTube video downloader. I don't suggest using it because it does violate the community guidelines. And I don't want you guys to be at risk on losing your channel. So I don't suggest using it, just screen record a clip, you know, you know, take the quality cut, but yeah. Now I'd say also get some good overlays and transitions. You know, you can search up on YouTube, GD highlights, transitions. You can screen record those. I personally don't screen record it because, you know, bad quality, but you know, getting good transitions is also key just to show that you're good at editing a little bit. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna go on number three on the actual tutorials. So I'm gonna go show you guys how to do the black background overlay and the white flash overlay. And I'll show you guys right now. All right, right now I'm gonna show you guys how to make the black overlay. So I suggest making it 916 aspect ratio. And what you wanna do is duplicate the video, right? Go to the original video and then make it an overlay, right? Make the original bigger so it goes behind it and then make the opacity, you know, find the opacity, make it around 20 to 35. I say just make it 25 right here. And then, yeah, that's all you got to do. All right, now I'm going to show you guys how to do the white flash. So you want to make it go over the whole clip, right? Make it pretty short, like 0.7. And then make it an overlay from the splice. Make the fade out 0.5. And then make the fade in 0.2. And I'll move it in the middle so you guys can see it. That's all you gotta do. And that's basically how to make the white flash overlay. All right, now you got your editing part done. You know, your video's good, it's clean, but you gotta get onto YouTube next. So I'm gonna go show you guys how I upload my videos, high quality and 60 FPS. Now the key to getting high quality 60 FPS videos on YouTube Shorts is to upload from YouTube Studio. Do not directly upload from YouTube app. It does not work most of the time. And you know, YouTube Studio is a 100% guarantee rate of getting your 60 FPS video out. Now since we're on the uploading part, I suggest using emojis and hashtags in your title just to give it a little more pop and it's more you know, engaging. And, you know, using the right hashtags is also key. I personally only use hashtag shorts, but if you want, you can put more hashtags like NBA, basketball, NFL, doesn't really matter what sport you are. Just make it like related to the video at one point or at some point. Now, the final part of this editing tutorial thing, I'd say just stay consistent. Obviously, you know, you're not going to get famous overnight. It's a grind, you know, I've been doing this for two years. I've only gotten about 18,000, but some people do get lucky. So, you know, you never know. Maybe you can go viral next. Now for the ending of this video, I just wanna say, 
Thank you to Runaway NBA, Kumo Suna, Him Edits, and City of Swerve. You know, free shout outs to the smaller channels. All right, if you guys enjoyed this little tutorial I made, hopefully it can help you out in your editing journey and your YouTube channel. So, signing off, JM out.